In this video, we'll be learning how to find unknown angles inside right angle triangles using the trigonometric ratios. Now, let's say we're given the following right angle triangle. And we're given the side length 3 and the hypotenuse 10 and that we are asked to find the angle which we'll label A here. Now the first steps are more or less identical to the ones we've seen in the previous video, video. And we ask ourselves, relative to the angle A, what do we have? So relative to A, relative to the angle A, we have this side here, 3, which is adjacent to A. So we can write, we have capital A, which is 3. And we're also given the hypotenuse of the triangle, which is 10. So we can go ahead and write capital H and two little dots, 10. And once again, we're going to make use of Sokotoa. And so we'll write this here. So, ka. Sorry about that. Toa. And looking at this, we ask ourselves which of those three words, so, ka, or toa, have both a and h inside them. Now, looking at this, it doesn't take us too long before we see that the only one with both a and h inside is ka. This means that we'll be using ka, which, remember, tells us that the cosine of the angle we're interested in, in this case a, is equal to adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And since we just saw that the adjacent is 3 and the hypotenuse is 10, we can go ahead and replace a and h by their values, which are 3 and 10, and we can go one step further if we want and say that's 0 0.3. And I'll just write that below, just to make it fit nicely. Cosine of A is equal to 0 0.3. So, our first step is done, really. But now, what we were looking for, remember, was the actual angle A. So how do we get A? What we're looking, or what we're trying to do, rather, is extract this angle A from the cosine. And the way that we do this is by using what we call inverse cosine. And if you look at your calculator, you'll be able to see it. Quite typically, if you're on a Casio calculator, you'll have to press on shift and then cos. Or if you're on a Texas calculator, you would press the second button followed by cosine, or followed by cos, I mean. So. What we know, since cosine of A is equal to 0 0.3, A is going to be equal to the inverse cosine, which we write like this, of 0 0.3. So make sure you can find that on your calculator. And if you calculate co inverse cos of 0 0.3, you'll find, rounding to one decimal place, that A is equal to 72.5 degrees. And there you go, we've just solved the problem. And as always, it's good practice to complete the diagram that we were given and adding the angle, or rather adding the result we have just found. We had a right angle triangle. One of the side lengths was three, the hypotenuse was 10, and we have just found that the interior angle A we were looking for was 72, or is, 72.5 degrees. Now, let's look at another example. Let's say we're given this right angle triangle. And we're told that this side length here is 3, this one is 6, and this interior angle we'll call B, is what we're looking for. So we're being asked to find the angle B. So once again, we look at 
the information we have relative to the angle. Now, relative to B, we're given this side length here, 3, which is adjacent to B. Remember, adjacent means next to it. We're also given this side length here, which is 6, which is opposite the angle B. So in other words, if I write that, we have 3, which is the adjacent, so I'll write capital A, and we have 6, which is the opposite, so I'll write capital O. And using Sokatoa again, so ka toa, we look at those three letters, or three words rather, so ka and toa, and we look for the one which has both a and o inside it. Well, very quickly we see that the only one to have both o and a, or, or a and o, is toa. And this tells us that the tan, T stands for tan, remember? The tan of the angle, which in this case is B, tan of B is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. And here the opposite is 6 and the adjacent is 3. And 6 divided by 3, of course, is 2. Once again, to obtain the actual angle which is inside the tangent, in other words, to obtain the B which is here, to extract it from tan, we use the inverse tan function. And so we can write B is equal to inverse tan of 2. The 2 is the 2 that I'm seeing here. And using your calculator, and again rounding to one decimal place, you'll find B is equal to 63.4 degrees. As always, we complete our diagram. And we had the right angle triangle looking something like this. We were given this side length 6, this one which was 3, and we have just calculated this interior angle which is 63.4 degrees. Let's look at one last example. Let's say we're given this right angle triangle. We're given the length of the hypotenuse, which is 12, and we're given this side length, which is 8. And we're asked to find this angle named x. Just as in the two previous examples, we start by looking at the information that we're given relative to the angle x. So relative to x, we can see that we're given the opposite side length, which in this case is 8. So we can go ahead and write capital O for opposite and 8. And we're also given the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle, which in this case is 12. So we can go ahead and write capital H for hypotenuse, 2 dots, 12. And as always, we use SOKATOA. So, ka, toa. And we look for which of these three words has both O and H inside it. And again, it doesn't take us too long to see that it's this one, the first one. So. So let's just circle that one. So tells us that the sine of the angle we're interested in, which in this case is x, sine of x, is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And so since in this case we have just seen that the opposite is 8 and the hypotenuse is 12, we can go a little further and say that sine of x is equal to 8 divided by 12. Just as in the previous examples, what we're looking for is the angle, which is inside of the sine function here. And so to get it out of there, we use the inverse sine function. And we write x is equal to the inverse sine of 8 over 12. 
plugging that into our calculators and rounding to one decimal place, we find that x is equal to 41.8 degrees. And finally, as always, we complete the diagram that we were given. We had a right angle triangle looking something like this. This side length was 8, the hypotenuse was 12, and we have just found this interior angle, which is 41.8 degrees. And there you go. We've just learned how to find unknown angles using right angle trigonometry.